our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. One thing uniting many parts of the country during the pandemic is the need for more protective equipment for healthcare workers. This got the attention of a little boy with a talent for art who decided to try his hand at helping out. Our Dr. Tara Narula has his story. This is my Auntie Allison. I made this picture because she's a doctor at Cornell. When the pandemic hit, eight-year-old Ethan Goldsmith overheard his parents talking about his aunt. She was fighting the virus on the front lines. She's a cancer doctor. So she needs PPE. Yeah, you can see she has PPE on right now. Last year, few people could tell you what PPE stood for. Now it's as basic as ABCs. Personal protective equipment is like masks or gloves or what doctors use to help patients. PPE is very important to like not get yourself sick and protect yourself. And do we have enough PPE in this country? Um, there's still places where they don't have PPE, so we're trying to donate money to get PPE. That's when Ethan decided to do whatever he could to help his healthcare heroes by picking up his pencils and markers. So this guy is named Dr. Fox, and it says, Dr. Fox has the biggest heart. Months into the quarantine and dozens of requests later, Ethan has raised hundreds for the organization Get Us PPE, who work to supply personal protective equipment to frontline workers nationwide. So. Here's his drawing of me. <laughs> my kids got a kick out of it. Um, my hair is certainly curly. Dr. Megan Ranney, an emergency physician at Brown University, co-founded Get Us PPE to actively respond to the shortages around the country. Many people think that this was a problem early on in the pandemic and that now we have enough. There are absolutely still shortages. This problem is here and it's actually getting worse again as we head into the fall. What started as a tweet to raise awareness grew into a grassroots movement. We've donated well over two and a half million pieces of personal protective equipment across the country. Even small amounts make a difference. And whether it's drawing a picture or donating some PPE, those little things add up. And, you know, drop by drop, we make an ocean. And that's true in this time as much as in any other. I made a drawing for you. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I want mine. <laughs> he what does, he a does. wonderful oh. story, isn't it? No, he, he is a good artist. I like his like I like his rhymes. Doctor Fox has <laughs> the biggest heart. Fixing hearts is his art. Fabulous. You go, Ethan <laughs> Goldsmith. Thank you. Thanks also to his auntie Allison, so who's there on the front lines.